Hi everyone, it's Vicki Keller, your independent stamping up demonstrator from Brisbane. Happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully I can find me in a minute. Leave a comment when you pop on so I can see see who's on. Still got a bit of a dodgy voice <laughs> and end up coughing a little bit. But I'm better than I was. I haven't even got my light on tonight. I am so unorganised. much stuff on my desk. Right. Hopefully that's a bit better. I need a bigger desk. Hi Lisa. So I thought we'd have a bit of a play tonight. I tried something out and I liked the idea and now I'm gonna continue it. I don't know whether we'll actually get to make a card, but I thought we might just have a bit of a play. With some things that are in the catalog that not many people use or know how to use. So that's exciting. Hi Chrissy. Oh, I got new nails, but now I've got some, been playing and now I've got some stuff on them. Do you like my new nails? Ready for on stage, because that's next week. All right, well it is eight o'clock. Do you think everyone else is just running a little bit late? Hi, Kerry. Maybe we might try, I might cut some cardstock while we're waiting. Because the last couple of weeks I've had quite a good following of quite a number of people. So I don't want anybody to miss. Hi, Glenda. So maybe I'm just a bit early. Now I've chosen three colors. I don't know whether these will all work together, whether they'll go on the one card or not, but I just wanted to have a bit of fun. And I chose Coastal Cabana because I never use it. Um, and then, I, so I started with that and going, right, we kind of need a, those bags for embossing, are they corn flour? I don't know what's actually in them, Lisa. Maybe. Um, it does feel like powder. It's to stop the static and anti-stick, so maybe. Um, and so then I chose what goes with a green talcum powder. See, Chrissy knows. Um, so I went with yellow and then I wanted a pink, like a, like a pop of colour. So I went with Berry Burst. But let's just get a piece of cardstock. And I'm thinking this could end up being my swap for on stage because I'm so organized that I've not done that yet either. And I've only got this weekend to come up with that. I've never used these colours together. And look, we already have a card base here of Coastal Cabana. So I might just use that. Um, 
And then, do we want pink and yellow? Do we want yellow and pink? I like the pink and yellow. Usually use Coastal Cabana, Melon Mambo and Daffodil Delight. Oh, I just went with Berry Burst tonight. Melon Mambo would work too. Probably be a bit brighter than Berry Burst. But I, oh, I was gonna say I didn't get the ink pads, but I did. I'm going with this. So we'll, hi Marie. We'll see how this goes. I've not planned anything, so we're winging it. I've just planned a technique that I want to show you, but I've not planned the card. So who knows what mess we'll end up in. Hi, Vicky. Um, hi, Vicky. Hi, Janice. Are you looking forward to next week? I am. Right. And I think... We'll have that for the sentiment. I need some white. So with this technique, ladies, I am not sure we're going to get more than one card made tonight. But that's okay. Because you're going to have fun. Hi, Renee. All right. So I think everyone's here now. I've just, I chose my color Coastal Cabana because it's a color I never use. And I started from there and I've cut that yellow the wrong size. That's a good start, isn't it? So that goes on there. And that will fit on there. Like that. I'm liking it. Right. So tonight I am using Gilding Flakes and Heat and Stick Powder. So these are in the catalog. I had to double check because it's been a while since I've used, seen anyone use gilding flakes. And I'm like, hmm, I haven't actually. I had heat and stick powder when it was like the blue and white logo. And I ended up selling it because we weren't using it for anything. And then it's come out again and I've bought it. And this is the first time I've opened it. So I thought, well, if that's the case, so many other people would be like that too, or they haven't even bought it so because they don't know what to do with it. So I thought tonight's video will be a bit of show and tell and have fun. So the Gilding Flakes or Gilded, Fla uh, Gilded Leafing is on page 141. It is $15.75 for this massive jar. Now it's light as a feather. Hi, Megan. But once you open it, it's like, you know, those um, those crunched up snake things that pop out of a jar? Like this stuff goes everywhere. So it's going to be messy. But anyway, and I've turned the fan down as low as possible. I tried doing it without the fan on, but it's hot. So I'm like, nah, I can't do that. And heat and stick powder is on page 138 and it is $10.50. So I'm going to show you how to use both of those tonight. So I've got these butterflies. Make sure you turn the fan off when you use it. I had it on before. It made a bit of a mess, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you get all your sneezes out and um, don't have fans on and anything like that. So this is... Um, done with the gilding gilded flakes 
And so now I have a gold butterfly instead of a white butterfly. So I thought I will show you how I did that. So to get, have I frozen again? No. To get the heat and stick powder to stick to your um, thing, your project, you need, I'm better Megan, I'm still not 100% and sometimes I lose my breath and stuff when I'm talking, but I'm better. Um, so you need Versamark, Versamark's the really sticky ink. And so you ink up your project. I've just got a bit of scratch paper underneath me. I'm finding it easier to do it whilst it's in its little barrier so it kind of stays and holds there. Then you pull the heat and stick powder on. Make sure you cover all the nooks and crannies because I think I missed them in the first one and I've got... I'm better than I was. And so we're just going to pop that up there and then this can go back in. I've got some lumps in my heat and stick powder, but anyway, this is the first time I'm using it. Put the lid on it. We can pop this back down here. Then we get our heat tool, so it's going to be noisy. And we heat this up until it's shiny. So it's a bit similar to what you do with embossing powder except it's like it's going to get a gloss shininess to it because it's sticky so don't touch it when it's done all right so now that that's sticky then, watch these fly everywhere. You get your gilding flakes and a paintbrush and paint on whilst it's sticky. And try and hold your breath and make sure it's not going anywhere else because we're just going to put the lid back on that because I've got the fan going. And they're going everywhere. So this is just a dry paintbrush. It's a bit stiff. And then you can pull that out of there. Now, if you haven't got great coverage, you can do it again if you want. But if you're going for a distressed look, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to... Just add a little bit more Versamark because I didn't quite get it. Now I've actually got an old Versamark which is what I should be using because I've now got gilding flakes in there. So I've got a really old dodgy Versamark that should be used in this instance when you're making a mess in your Versamark. So, I'm probably going to end up with gilding flakes in my heat and stick powder now too, but anyway. Now this time I'm going to get my tweezers from my embossing kit to hold this because I don't want to burn my fresh new nails. Then we'll 
get some more of this out. Now, I do find that this heat and stick doesn't, like with embossing with the um, Versamark, I could do a couple of these at a time and get to it and it's still going to be sticky. But I'm finding, I don't know whether it's because I've got my fan on or not, but I'm finding I don't have, I can only do like one thing at a time for the gilding flakes to stick. So I don't think it stays sticky enough to do the more than one at a time. That's better coverage than what we had the first time. So that's our first instance. And then I've got, got my little craft vacuum that I've had for 100 days or 100 years. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just going to vacuum up. I've had that for so long, Chrissy. So I've had I have done the same thing. Where's my the same concept with stamping? So and see what I mean here? I've tried to do it with a sentiment, but I think I stuffed around too much because Adrian came in and I was having a conversation and I think it dried before I put too many gilding flakes on there. So I'll show you how to do with stamping as well. So we've got an image, oh, we've got a scrap piece of paper here. Now we're gonna stamp in, not as pretty. I like the butterfly, oh, the ladybug. So we've got our um, verse mark with our daisy image. And now I've got gilding flakes stuck in that so and then we're going to close this and put the heat and stick powder on it make sure you get good coverage So I don't usually like a lot of mess, but I thought I'd have a bit of fun tonight. Um, so we're going to heat this up. And then stick this stuff on. Now there, there's there's lots of stuff in here, and I even if you were the use this every day, I do not believe you will ever go through what is in this container. Um, so I'm vacuuming up what's left. Um, rather than trying to keep it. But I know a lot of people put it in a, um, like a Ziploc bag once it opens and stuff like that because it does create a bit of mess. So it does give a bit of a distressed look when you use this because it is a little bit more uneven than what it would be with gold embossing powder. But 
I'm finding because like you could do this same thing with gold embossing powder you just use a lot of it and but that's the whole point of these gilding flakes um I wanted to have the same gold because my gold embossing powder if I use that on the flower it's going to be a different gold because there's all different versions of gold so that's why I'm trying to use the same technique on all the different things so that it's um, the same concept, if that makes sense. So one last thing, we're going to stamp the sentiment or stamp a sentiment and see whether we can get it to work a bit better than I did before. That's a good idea too, Kerry. Keep it in a, like a bigger plastic box so that you make the mess in the box and not everywhere else. Whereas... I'm making a mess everywhere. And yeah, the one thing that I don't like about the heat and stick is that I feel like I can only do one card at a time. better on a sentiment because it's not liking those little curl things um maybe on a sentiment that doesn't have such fine writing because i can read you mean the world you mean but i can't to get the world so i don't think that's going to work for my sentiment but the concept is there so if you've got a bolder sentiment it would definitely work but not for this sentiment that i've been using Now, you've all seen how much I've vacuumed up tonight, and if I open this container, it's going to look like it's still full to the brim. So, um, just keep that in mind. Like, I don't think you need to be as frugal as with some other craft supplies with this, because there is, like, it's like this stuff just expands. Excuse me. So... What I had in my head was that we would get this white piece of paper. Got stuff everywhere. Get some blending brushes. Oh, what colours have I got? Berry burst and yellow. I don't know that I have a yellow blending brush. Might be a new one. Okay. And I am using this stamp set. Botanical layers. A new to me stamp set I haven't got any ink on it yet so I thought why not do that oh there's a tiny little stamp there mm, yep so how has everyone's week been I 
I'm making a right roll mess here. I got my hair done on the weekend. That was nice. Got my nails done during the week. Not. Oh, hot. Yes, it was hot. When I got in the car yesterday, um, Saturday, it was 45 degrees. What happened to autumn? Absolutely ridiculous. Got new ribbon shelves in my craft room. I've had ribbon sh shelves on the floor in my lounge room for probably 18 months wanting Adrian to put them up in my craft room. So maybe one day. Now we're going to do some embossing, embossed resist as well. Um, so for no, for anybody that doesn't know, emboss resist is when we emboss in clear or white embossing powder. I'm doing white this time. So I'm just kind of stamping randomly. I should probably have a mat, a scratch piece underneath me, but it's okay. Went to Toowoomba. It's not officially autumn till 21st of March. Well, that sucks because it's hot. Okay, we need embossing powder. So this is in white embossing powder. Lady having a leap year birthday. I saw on the um, news a woman that had her was celebrating her 40th um, birthday on the 29th gave birth to her daughter on the 29th. So they're both leap year babies. So there's that. We are now going to stamp. Um, her card was a box combining both birthdays. Nice. This one. I'll just take that off for the time being over there. I'm just going to stamp this one, I think, in green. Oh, how nice is that? I forget why I don't use Coastal Cabana. I quite like it. It's just not my go-to colour. Um, I don't have my cleaning pad in.
cleaning stamp. I might clean this one too, just to make sure it's clean. Whoops. You can tell I haven't prepped anything, hey? Because I'm not organized. So I've got one of the smaller blending brushes. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Where's Buddy? Don't hear him anymore. Um, he's sleeping. He was so loud before that he got yelled at because he was like throwing his bed around the whole craft room. He was throwing his weight around. I think he was just excited to see me because I was in the office today. But um, now I think he's worn himself out. But he's not even sleeping in the craft room. He's in the rumpus room next to me, which is probably why you can't hear him snoring because he's not quite close to the camera. This is actually really pretty green. I was a bit worried doing leaves with this green because I'm like, I don't know how it's going to work. Shouldn't have been worried. Okay. I don't know how yellow is going to stamp on that though. We might just try a little bit. Try, try, try. And we can cover it up if we don't like it. What does this one I did stamp on there. I was going to do them in gold, but I think the yellow works all right on that. It's really pretty, isn't it? All right. Um, we want. I'm just having fun playing. Got no idea what I want or what I'm doing. See whether we like the end result. Sometimes I don't. And this could be my swap. Mm. Oh, that's annoying that that didn't stamp all the way there. Um, there we go. And right. I decided I didn't have enough swaps. I'm now onto my third card, fussy cutting honey jars. Yay for me. Well, I've kind of, don't forget to use you. Yes. Um, 
I haven't had a chance to do swaps yet, so I'm thinking if I kind of come up with a design, I'm hoping this weekend might give me a chance to actually create something, but I need to have an idea in mind to start with. Okay, so we've cleaned the mat off with a wet wipe, but now we need to get a tissue to wipe off the ink from the embossed resist. And it will just make it pop that little bit more on there. All right. So, do I want... I kind of thought... Once these cards are all done, I can then play with the reptile embossing. Oh, I haven't got that. Um, so I thought I'd stick a butterfly on here. This one might be too big for this particular card, but I do want, cause the, I want to use like all the different size butterflies because I don't want to just use all the small ones because it comes in all different sizes. Um, so I'll have to make it work with the bigger butterflies as well. And then I'm thinking, maybe, I was thinking gold embossing with the sentiment, but I'm thinking white stamped in berry burst. Or do I want yellow stamped in berry burst? Do we want a yellow or white piece for the sentiment? Because I'm going to stamp in berry burst. So that's decided. And then... I've got... Now I know there's dies to cut these um, daisies out. These daisies are from the Cheerful Daisy set, but I just do not have room on my desk right now. White embossing on Berry Burst cardstock. Um, that might work all right too. Because then that might tie in with that. White. Mm. I'm torn. I might have to do a couple. Um, but seriously, you should see the mess I've created here. I just do not have room to even bring in my little big shot. Like stamp and cut in a boss. So I'm going to sit here and fussy cut this daisy out. A lot of people are saying white. Get rid of that. Because I kind of think this needed a flower. So I don't know whether I'm going to stick with it or not. Or I could stamp one of the leaves and cut them out, but I think this needs a bit of colour. So where's my wink? My wink, Estella. I did 
fill oh I did fill this up with isoprol and took the thing out now look like a um, squeeze that there and there's a lot of liquid coming out but I like it so this is the second go at my um, Winker Stella so I'm now quite happy that I've learned how to do this because before I was just throwing my Winker Stellas out now I can get a second life out of them. I shared the tip um, on my Facebook page a couple of weeks ago. I'd not tried it before. It's fabulous. All right. Oh, and it's so shiny. So much glitter. Now, I want some yellow in the middle. Ugh. Make that pop. Is that how shiny that coming up is on the video? It's so shiny. So don't throw out your Winker Stellas, people. All right. So I'm going to stick that there. That's going to go there. And we're going to have a white sentiment. Berry Burst ink. And I've done it on the ink pad. The I've got the sentiment on the stamp pad that I just used as a thing. Oh, and now I've got gilding flakes on it too. This is why you clean up as you go, people. Otherwise you'll end up in a big mess like me right now. stamp in very best you mean the world to me oh you should see my floor there's a lot of gilding flakes on my floor that my vacuum missed. Um, Glenda, I hope your dog's okay because I'm going to be using my little trimmer. Take a photo of the floor. I will have to. I think I'm going to wait till that's stuck down before I trim that any further. Alright. I think I'm kind of happy with this. She just took off. <laughs> Right, so we are going to get some adhesive. No, that's the dodgy one. Stick 
stick that down. I kind of feel like that needs to be trimmed a little bit. It'll be fine. does need to be trimmed a little bit. Where's my trimmer? Better than what it was. Okay. Oh, I was going to stick this down first. Yeah, Ning Nong. I've already stuck adhesive on it. stick that down just flat and then we're going to trim this And stick this this is a lot of layer and work for a swap I usually like to do quite detailed swaps but I usually only do 10 but I do agree with you Megan yes goes there and I think just a glue dot maybe for the butterfly and we'll poke him up a bit there and now we need some bling 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 what bling have I got? See, I don't think that ink looks like that cardstock colour. If that didn't come out of the Coastal Cabana ink thing, I wouldn't know that that's what it is. Well, I don't think any of those. Oh, maybe these white dots might work. Because I need something that I've got a few of. Where's my pokey tool? And that way you're not competing with the gold either. Oh, I like that. What does everyone else think? Do we like that? Right, 
right. And pack that away. And I think we're only going to get the one card in, ladies. Because that was quite detailed and a lot of um, talking. But I think I quite like that. So the stamp set I used was botanical uh, botanical layers. <clears throat> and then I used these butterflies, which they're with that lavender set in the whole in the mini catalog. And I used the cheerful daisy for just the flower because I kind of think it needs needs the flower. I think the flower would look better if I actually cut it out with the dies. So this is my sample and for my swaps I'll probably cut them out with dies. Because um, I'll end up with a little production line. But I'm pretty happy with that. Different colour combos than I used to. But thank you everyone. Well hopefully you have a lovely week and I will see you all next week. Thanks for joining.